Iraq is holding 35 British servicemen and 20 US sailors as the Gulf crisis continues to worsen. The Britain's advisers to the Kuwaiti army were detained this morning. British Defence Minister Archie Hamilton says the men have been taken to a hotel in Baghdad. One of the arrested men, a major, was allowed to phone home to report that his colleagues were unharmed. The crew of an American tanker, the Seawolf, were arrested and taken ashore after their ship docked. Mrs. Thatcher is cutting short her American visit and flying home because of the crisis. Meanwhile, Iraq has announced the formation of a nine-man puppet government to run the occupied country. Kuwaiti sources claim the government is headed by Iraqi President Saddam Hussein's own son-in-law. Iraq says it will <clears throat> begin to withdraw its army from Kuwait tomorrow. The Iraqi-installed administration has called for volunteers to join a popular army to protect Kuwait. The United States and the Soviet Union are calling for an immediate and unconditional Iraqi withdrawal. And EC officials meeting in Rome today have frozen Iraqi assets, halted all Iraqi oil imports and banned arms sales to Baghdad. Britain has responded guardedly to Iran's offer to resume diplomatic ties broken over the Salman Rushdie affair. Tehran has said recent remarks made by the Foreign Secretary, Douglas Hurd, have made normal relations possible. But Foreign Office officials say they are still looking for a substantive gesture of goodwill from the Iranians. They say the release of British businessman Roger Cooper and help in freeing British hostages John McCarthy, Terry Waite, Brian Keenan and Jackie Mann would be a significant gesture. The broadcaster Bernard Falk is dead. He collapsed and died at the wheel of his speedboat while out on the River Thames. Mr Falk, who was 47, had a history of ill health and had several heart operations. He combined hard-nosed investigative reporting with humour and currently hosted the BBC radio travel programme Going Places. Well, that's the news. Now a look at the weather. Everyone who could have has been out today making the most of the tropical temperatures before it starts to cool down tonight. It'll be a lot less humid in southern areas tonight. A few showers, mostly in northern Scotland, cooler and cloudier everywhere tomorrow with the best of the sunshine in the south. That's it for now. Join us for more news later.